So we back in a bit. I done slept, I done woke up, took a shower. I had a meeting. Meeting actually went really, 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 really stellar. Honestly, really happy with that meeting. Hold on, y'all. Let me turn this shit up. Anyways, child, what we about to do right now? I'm about to cook up some pasta. I'm not really hungry, but none of my friend is hungry. So I'm like, fuck it. Let me just cook for my, for my friend real quick. Yeah, we finna cook this chicken off right now. But I do want to give a little bit of a talk real quick while we do as we do. One thing I definitely do want to talk about is the importance of taking care of the people that take care of you, right? I feel like a lot of us take friendships and genuine family relationships for granted. And it's like we feel as if people have a certain obligation to treat us and do for us in a certain type of way due to their certain title in our life. When in all means, in actuality, they don't. At the end of the day, yes, your mama is your mama. But your mama does not have to fuck with you. She don't. She, there is no obligation for her today. Your mama could have literally left you on the side of the road. It told you, just like, you know, how birds be doing. Birds be burping their babies and be tossing them out the damn nest. Like, shit, go figure it out. Your mama could have did that. And if your mama did do that, I apologize to you because you didn't deserve that. But for those of you that have a mama that do for you, care for you and all that, do and care for your mama back. You only get one mama. You only get one daddy. And quite frankly, no good friends, like the friends that really like care for you and really gonna be there for you, those come for you too. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, it's not really normal, right? Or I'm gonna be honest, in this day and age, it's very not normal to like have a good friend. Everybody is so like, it's me, myself, and I, fuck everybody, whatever the case may be. But I would say one thing that I try to do for real, for real, it's just really do be appreciative of the people who are there for me, who care for me, and who really try with me. Cause I know I ain't easy, bitch. I can be, I can be a very big pain in the ass if I want to, no cap. So I just say, make sure y'all care and y'all love for the people who care and love for y'all. Cause that shit can be taken away in a second. No lie. I know that's like some sad thinking to like think of, but something that just be staying in my mind sometimes just be like, Man, the people that I love could really just pop up and die right now. So it's like, do you want the people that you love to like pop up, pass away, and it's like you didn't appreciate them when they was here, or just appreciate people while they're here, so that way if anything do happen, or let's say, let's say y'all just break apart or whatever, you can at least say I did my part, which is something I say very keen about. Like, bro, I play. If I say I'm, I'm your friend and I'm playing my part, I'm your friend and I'm gonna play my part, and I, I really do mean that. Like. You can ask all the people that have ever been friends with me. Even down to the bitches that I, I ain't even friends with no more. I've literally had every single friend that I've ever had come back to me and reassure me that like, hey, in the time and period that we was friends, you was a good friend. And that shit really do help me move the hell on because sometimes they be beating me up. That's like, damn, y'all like, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Like, what happened? Sometimes you just grow up apart from people. Sometimes you just not in the same vibe for people. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you you on a frequency up here, I'm on a frequency up here. Or vice versa. You may not be operating off the same frequency at the time. But that's honestly when your real friends get checked. You want me to, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I have a friend. Y'all know the friend. The friend's Jewel, aka Chris, aka my bitch. And there's been a lot of times with me and Jewel. Like the longest me and Jewel went without talking was like 10 months, like almost to a year. And it was really because, and you know when that happened, it happened when she was like 16, I was like 14. I was just going into high school. She was going into junior year. You know what I'm saying? Just what we was going through was, we was going through a personality change due to our age and due to like, you know, regular life. But one thing that always stood still is she, we came back to each other like, it was never no love lost. It would never be no love lost, you know what I'm saying? So shit, just because you and your partner may not be talking at the moment don't mean they don't, they fuck with you any less. Like, no. Until somebody hit you up and say, I don't fuck with you no more, stop thinking that folks don't mess with you just because y'all may not be talking at the moment. That's where y'all really be messing up at because people got stuff going on. People have shit to do. People are trying to focus on themselves to try to get themselves to where they want to be. And you sitting here mad because they ain't call you and say, hey, did you call them and say, hey? And even if you did call them and say, hey, they ain't say, hey, back. Until a problem is addressed, remain with the mentality that there is no problem. That's how I be having no, no, no problems in my head. Like, 
with the people that I'm not necessarily like that's not like my everyday friend or somebody that I don't talk to every day. I'll be tripping because at the end of the day, I'm 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 here for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm literally here for you. So if you need to take some time to yourself or you don't want to talk to nobody for three months, bitch, make it six if that's what it gotta be. But I'm gonna still be here and I'm gonna be waiting for you when you get back. It's just that simple. Like I don't know. I just be I just love people. Not even love people. I love my people so much to the point where I really don't care what place I have to have in your life at the time of whatever time. I don't care as long as I'm able to support you and be there for you the way that you need me to support and be there for you. That's all that matters to me because that's my job as a friend. And my job as a friend is to literally be your family, not by blood, but by love. That's my conclusion. My conclusion is just treat the people that you love with love back because you just never know when that shit will be gone. You just <laughs> That's dope, man. But you just want to make sure you appreciate and care for people while they're here. You know what I'm saying? Hold it, 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 hold it